WCAX Channel 2 Sports, sponsored by Xfinity Mobile. In his three summers in the dugout, Lake Monsters manager Pete Wilk made countless connections and last, left a lasting legacy on both the club and the baseball community here in Vermont. But on Wednesday, the Monsters announced the sad news that Wilk had died after his 15-month battle with glioblastoma. Yeah, it's a huge loss. Huge loss, uh, obviously, for the Lake Monsters family, for our fans. Uh, for Vermont and really the entire sport of baseball. Lake Monsters general manager C.J. Knudsen worked closely with Wilk for his whole time in Burlington. And on the baseball side, his impact was obvious. Those are some great years for us. You know, 2021, when we relaunched, it was a really uh, challenging year coming out of COVID. And uh, somehow, you know, Pete was able to lead the team to uh, the first championship since 1996. This is yours! This is yours! Two more trips to the Futures League Championship Series followed the relationships Wilk built were far more important. Yeah, I just, I loved uh, Pete's smile. He was contagious. I loved his leadership. Uh, you know, I loved his dedication to the team, to the players, uh, making the guys uh, uh, role models. You know, once you got to know him, like when I got there in uh, the end of the 2021 season, he was, um, you know, open arms, welcoming, um, made me feel right at home. BFA grad Colby Brulette played for the Monsters all three seasons Wilk served as manager. He says Pete's personality, combined with his experience, is what made him so effective. You know, just his knowledge of the game um, compared with his relatability aspect um, to the young college players at his age. Um, the combination of that two was uh, what set him apart. Even after his cancer diagnosis, Wilk went out of his way to come up and coach the team the second half of last summer, during which the team honored him with a special dig in for Pete night. This thing, it was a different vibe in the clubhouse. Um, this meant something to these kids, which was incredibly special to me. Yeah, I mean, he never gave up. I mean, he was literally optimistic to the end. Uh, he's a true fighter and really a true champion. Knudsen says the outpouring of support from the league, Monsters family, and community at large has been remarkable. He was a true leader on the field, off the field, and uh, the reaction from our fan base, you know, on social media to emails to phone calls we're getting, everybody really is uh, heartbroken. And this team has a special goal in mind to honor Pete this summer. You know, if there's one thing that uh, we want to try to do this year is we want to try to win for Wilk.